let's see another example of solution of a linear programming problem by using graphical method uh, this solution comes out to be unbounded solution let's see how to get it by graph so the problem is maximize the objective function z which is 5x plus 4y subject to the constraints x minus 2y less than equal to 1 x plus 2y greater than equal to 3 with non-negative restriction that both x and y greater than equal to 0. So let's name these constraints as 1 and 2. So as usual we will start by plotting the constraint 1 and 2. So for constraint 1 x minus 2y let us write it as an equation equal to 1. Now we will draw it as a line. For that purpose we need two points on this line. So again we can substitute different values of x and y to get those points. So to make it easy I will start with like if I will take x is equal to 0 this term will become 0 and we left here with minus 2y is equal to 1 which gives you value of y as minus 0 0.5 similarly if I substitute y is equal to 0 this term becomes 0 it gives you x is equal to 1 so I will get the two points 0 comma minus 0 0.5 and the second point on this line as 1 comma 0 let's do the similar calculation for constraint 2 when we write it as a line it becomes x plus 2y equal to 3 now again different values of x and y so here we write x and y so when x is 0 y will be 3 over 2 so let's write it in decimal 1.5 which makes it easy to draw on a graph and when y is 0 x takes value 3 so we know that we always write the constant uh, the point as x and then y don't write 0 comma 3 it is 0 comma 1.5 0 1.5 and the second point is 3 comma 0 why we are writing like this because we always represent a point with x comma y first is the value of x the second term is the value of y okay now let's draw it on a graph so let's uh, as we can see the maximum value of x is 3 minimum value is 0 on y axis the maximum value is 1.5 and minimum value is minus 0.5 although this non-negative restriction says that our region is in the first quadrant but as we got a negative point we have to draw it so let's plot it so let this be the y-axis okay then we draw it for x-axis now by choosing the appropriate scale so as this is let it be x-axis this is y-axis now as x is maximum is up to 3 so let's take a division of 0.5 you can select any scale so 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5. You can draw it even on a graph paper. Similarly for y axis it goes maximum to 1.5. So we start with 0 0.5. 1.0 1 1.5 2.0 or you can simply write 2 
it's okay you can simply write two okay and then 2.5 it's okay we don't need more value so let it be this much only okay and we do have the negative value of y so it will be somewhere here minus 0 0.5 okay now let's draw the points on a line so for the first quadrant we have these two points 0 comma minus 0 0.5 so x is 0 which is here and y is minus 0 0.5 so this is the point as this x is is negative of y okay then the next point is 1 comma 0 y is 0 is this line and the value of x is 1 is here so before plotting other two points is always better to join these two lines first so if we join it by a line uh, let's join it from the other side we start from here and then we join the line and we extend it further in the x plane x y plane okay so this is corresponding to the first quadrant first equation so we write it as one now for the second one the points are 0 comma 1.5 x is equal to 0 and y is 1.5 and 3 comma 0 y is 0 and x is 3 so let's again join it with the help of a line so what we can see here from this point until here that's it now this is the line for constant two. now constant one says that x minus 2y less than equal to 1 so this line represent that x minus 2y is equal to 1 now for the constant we need less than or equal to 1 so we need to decide whether the region is below the line or above the line region we are talking about the feasible region so for that as i explained earlier we can select point in any on any side of the line and substitute it here to check the region so for example just for a revision let's select this point 3 0 what is this point 3 comma 0 it means x is 3 y is 0 let's substitute it here x is equal to 3 and y is 0 2 times 0 so it's 3 in the constant it is less than equal to 0 3 is less than equal to 1 no this is false so from this line as this point is not satisfying the constant we move away from the point in the opposite direction so we move upwards on the other hand if point was satisfying the value we will move towards the point so here we will go in the upward direction okay i hope it's clear now second one second constant is x plus 2y greater than equal to 3 so this line represent x plus 2y equal to 3 now we have to check for greater than equal to so again we have to select a point either on the downward side or upward side of the line so let's select this point okay so what is this point x is 0 y is 2 let's substitute it here so if x is 0 y is 2 2 comma 2 so this gives you 4 is 4 greater than equal to 3 yes it is so what we will do from this point we move towards the from this line we move towards the point so the feasible region is in the upward direction okay i hope it is clear 
what we did for constant one as this point is not satisfying the constant it was not satisfying it so we are moving away from the points whereas in this case point is satisfying the constant so we move towards the points now we want to look for the feasible region generally the feasible region is the region satisfied by both the constants so in this region if we see from this line the arrows are coming inside the region but from this line it's going outside so this line is not in the feasible region this region is not in the not the feasible region similarly if we consider this area arrows are going outward so this is also not a feasible region here if we look at here again from this line the arrows are coming inside but here it's going outside so again this is not our feasible region so let's see this this portion now here we can see that from this line it is going inside from this line again it's going inside and our region is in the first quadrant so again it is towards the this side so our feasible region is basically this whole region okay so this all is the visible region so we write it here visible region now as we are looking for the maximum value of z what we can see in this region as it is going to infinite limit there is no specific point which gives you the maximum value what i mean is if you select any point here it gives you a value of z so it is possible to select another point which gives you a maximum value more than this let's analyze this what i am saying is what is required we need that the maximum maximum value of the objective function 5x plus 4y okay so let's say that in this region can we say that the point 10 comma 10 will be in this region yes of course it will be so if i calculate the value of z at the point 10 comma 10 so what it will give you 5 times 10 plus 4 times 10 so this is 50 plus 40 which is 90 now as we are looking for maximum value let's select another value point so simply we can say that 100 comma 100 is a point lying in this region so if we calculate the value of z here so it is z 5 into 100 4 into 100 it gives you 900 which value which is higher than 90 so we cannot find any point here in this region which gives you a maximum value because the region is unbounded so in this case we say that this problem is having a unbounded solution okay because the region is not bounded